What is up disc golfers? Today on Iceberg TV, I wanna show you guys the difference or a comparison between the Axiom Crave and the Axiom Rhythm. Cause I'm sure there's a lot of you guys that were thinking, well, you know, if I have a Crave, I probably don't need a Rhythm or if I have a Rhythm, I don't really need a Crave. And I'm gonna give you guys, you know, a little comparison of them. We'll throw them a few times, show you the profiles of uh, both discs. And then hopefully you can make an informed decision as to, you know, if you want the new rhythm in your bag or if you feel like you're satisfied with your craves. But big shout out to Disc Golf Deals USA for sending me the rhythm for today's video. Um, so click the link in the description below if you decide you want to get one for yourself. All right, we'll show you guys the profile of these two guys real quick. You can see from the side that the crave is slightly flatter. The rhythm carries definitely a little bit more dome. It's not quite pop top. It's like almost a pop top but has a nice amount of dome for those of you who like a domier fairway driver and you feel like the Craves might be a little too flat for you, the Rhythm is gonna get you that little bit more dome, a little bit more glide without having that super overstable flight. But <laughs> don't let the lightweight fission rhythm fool you. This thing is not superly understable. It's actually quite a good flyer. All right, so we'll throw the Cosmic Neutron Crave and then the Fission Rhythm. Crave, obviously that being the more stable run of Crave, going very straight through 90% of the flight, having a dependable fade at the end, and now we'll throw the Fission Rhythm. Having a little bit more turn, but going way farther. So flying significantly farther than the Crave. Like I said, that dome is gonna help add a lot of glide to the overall flight of the disc. The more disc golf I play, the more I realize that there's no shame in throwing lightweight discs. But if you look at any pro player, any local pro, or any good players you know, they're always gonna be bagging all max weight discs. And there's a few different arguments to be made that it's good to just kind of keep all your discs within the same range, mostly for timing reasons. But the more I throw lightweight discs, the more I realize that it's basically the same thing. As long as you have good form and a fairly straight line of pull, the weight of the disc doesn't superly matter. But I'm definitely impressed with the amount of distance that I'm getting out of that rhythm. I always questioned MVP before I really threw them much. They always had decimal points in their flight numbers. Like the rhythm is a 7, 5.5, minus 2, 1. And then the Crave is a 6.5, 5, minus 1, 1. And that pretty much seems like exactly the same thing. But when... They say that this has a 5.5 glide. They definitely mean it. This rhythm is going quite a bit farther than these craves. So it being just slightly faster and slightly glidier, they're definitely using some sort of scientific measures to decide these flight numbers because I find that the MVP flight numbers are usually pretty accurate. And this Neutron Crave, sorry, Cosmic Neutron was pretty stable when it was brand new. But now that I've been throwing it more and more, both of these craves, this one's a little flippier, this one's a little more stable. These are two staples in my bag and I couldn't be happier with the flight of these two discs. So I'm actually, again, I'm excited to do a follow up on these guys, but we'll go Crave Rhythm Crave. So we'll go Cosmic Neutron first. You can see having about a minus one turn, but then a very consistent fade at the end. And that's why I like the Crave so much. It's just so easy to throw. And now we'll go with the Rhythm. And it holds onto that turn a little bit longer, but still fades at the end, flying so nicely. And then the other Crave, hopefully I don't hit this homie. Please don't turn. They're just so consistent, man. Like, I think if they can make a domier run of Crave, I think that would be like the absolute favorite disc of most of the MVP pro players. A Crave with a little bit more dome, so it's a little more stable and a little glidier, would be like the absolute perfect fairway driver. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do here is throw all the discs one last time and then we'll wrap up the video. Same order, we'll go Cosmic Neutron, Fission Rhythm, and then Proton. Crave first. Kind of over-rotated there, but reliable stability. Bring me right back into the fairway. Rhythm, we'll try and really chonk this one a little harder. Ah. 
I threw that pretty much as hard as I could. And then we'll throw the crave. I'm gonna throw it with similar power here. I'm really gonna yeet this one. Oh, got over on it. Little bit, but you see if you really throw them hard, they'll definitely turn a little bit more. So for the power players, they're really liking the craves for those turnover shots. But anyway, I hope this video is gonna help you guys make an informed decision as to if you want the fission rhythm. I actually re kind of recommend it in those <laughs> in the lightweight. I think a max weight one's gonna be pretty stable because even though that one is lightweight and it's a minus two turn, like you saw, I mean, I threw that thing just about as hard as I could and it really didn't turn that much. And I've seen people throw the original rhythms and they were way more flippy than the fission ones. The fission ones are gonna be a lot more overstable for some reason than the other runs. So anyway, I hope that helps you make an informed decision. You guys are watching Iceberg TV. Again, thanks to Disc Golf Deals USA for sponsoring today's video and take care.